You can't have a garden, a vegetable garden, without having an insect or a disease. That's the truth. I mean, one of them will raise their ugly head, but it doesn't have to be a big thing. It can be a small thing. And if you keep your garden clean and well-fed, you're not going to have a problem. But the thing is, keeping it clean and well-fed on a regular basis, which is every two weeks, and you will have a good, healthy garden and a safe garden. But you know, it seems that so many people want to rush out and buy the strongest chemical that they can and use them. There's nothing wrong with plant medications. They don't pollute, man pollutes, or misuse and abuse. But if you use my all-purpose cleanup tonic on an every two-week basis and after seven o'clock at night, there's a pretty good chance you will not have any insects or diseases. Maybe one will sneak through. And that tonic is very simple. First of all, you're going to start by using one cup of antiseptic mouthwash. Antiseptic mouthwash is exactly what it says. It's antiseptic, so it kills bacteria. So it destroys the bacteria that are floating around, the bad ones that we can't use. One cup of liquid dish soap. Soap softens the soil, washes off pollution, so osmosis and photosynthesis take place, and it upsets the tummies and other systems of the bugs. And one cup of chewing tobacco juice. Chewing tobacco juice is the most efficient, most effective, and safest of the natural insect sprays and goes back to the days of the Indians, and it does not hurt your tomatoes, folks. The way you make chewing tobacco juice is take your thumb and three fingers, reach into a pouch of chewing tobacco. The reason I use chewing tobacco is because it has molasses and I need sugar to make it function. Get a big clump like that, even bigger, stick it in the toe of a nylon stocking, marinate it in a point of boiling hot water, and let it steep all night. And then that is what you will use. Now, if I have to use a medication, that is an insecticide, to control a specific insect or a specific problem, I will use it only in the amount of solution that I need for that plant, not the whole thing. And when I do, I will start with the mildest form. And the mildest form is perithrin, either in a ready-to-use spray or in a liquid spray. If I have a problem with caterpillars, tomato horn borers, or the rest, I will use thericide, known as Bacillus thuringiensis Bt. I will start it out at 25% of the recommended rate inside of the formulation. And then if I had to move up, I would move up and go to 50%, but only on the plants I need. I would use a tomato or a flower and a flower and vegetable. A dust is another way. I would not add that to the spray. I would use it as a dust. The natural barriers are probably the best and safest and where you really want to start. For instance, garlic juice. Garlic barrier is just garlic water, 100%. It is phenomenal. You can use it either ready-made or you can make it yourself in onion juice or garlic juice or a combination. You can use hot pepper as a dust. You can put hot sauce inside of this spray and then you're going to put it in your hose and sprayer, whether in doing just doing your every two-week spray without it, but then when you do, you'll put it into the hose and sprayer, attach it to your hose, spray after 7 o'clock at night, making sure that you get all of the areas, including the walking areas between your raised garden or the, the paths in which you walk, but make sure that you get the entire garden and all the soil and all the beds and all of the plants every two weeks to keep them clean, keep them green, and keep them safe and keep them growing.